the roundabout crew. I'm not sure what this is. I'm pretty sure it's the roundabout crew podcast. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and say, yeah, it is. It is the roundabout crew podcast. I just double check. Oh, it oh, definitely nice. is. You do Here, a few podcasts, don't you? I do. You, you get a bit confused. I do. I do the podcast about um, keyboards and mice or mouses, as they're actually known. Oh, okay. really? That's an interesting fact for you to start the podcast. Can you take it away with your story? <laughs> <laughs> I'm more intrigued about the mouses thing. But, um, mouses, I know. Um, the story I wanted to tell you guys and girl is, I was reading up the other day, a pencil. Vaney jury has awarded a man $1.15 million dollars, dollary dues. US or dollary dues? Dollary dues, so the Australian, <laughs> official nice. Australian currency, for having the wrong testicle removed. Oh, I hate oh. it when that happens. I know, we've all been there. How, what do they mean, the wrong one? Well, uh, There's so- only one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh pumpkin three. head and one nut. <laughs> um, so this bloke, Stephen Hayes, uh, he'd been suffering for chronic pain in his right testicle, oh. apparently for about 15 years before seeing a doctor. Did, which... he, play, did he play indoor cricket one night at Kayleigh? Well, I, I lasted a few hours and then w- had a schooner and then went to the hospital. Yeah, but this guy true. went 15 years, which 15 seems, years. Oh seems excessive. So the doctor referred him to a urologist, a uh, specialist surgeon, and then the surgery, well, it, it happened, but then obviously he removed the wrong nut. Um, so now, poor Stephen's in constant pain. Is and that, Is that how the doctor addressed like, Stephen? Um, I'm sorry to tell you, but I removed the wrong nut. <laughs> I was supposed to be a doctor. <laughs> no, well, in the, the, the court order, well, as evidence now, um, no. know, they use the, uh, his surgeon's notes, and it's like, oh, it appears that the left cord and left testicle appear to be intact, and the wrong testicle was removed. Oh, oh. man. Do I thought reckon- you were going to say that the, the testicle is intact. In like as evidence, yeah, 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 yeah. evidence one. It's like in a jar. Do you reckon Excuse he did me, the Your old Honor. like throw it in the bin and then realize and then like try the five second rule? Just yeah. grab the nut out of the bin. It's got like a bit of fruit fruit on it or something. <laughs> we can reattach it. It's still good. <laughs> so so what? So the surgeon literally just got his left and his right's mixed up. Yeah, I don't Do know. Well, it wouldn't have. Unless oh, he's going or was wrong. Stephen laying on his stomach? And he, uh-huh. ah, he, didn't, he didn't say he went your left anus. or yeah. my left. Yeah. Stage left. Oh, everyone, but yeah, common <laughs> mistake. So that's probably Stephen's fault, but the jury didn't <laughs> see it his way. So I wanted to talk to you guys and girl about things you've screwed up in the workplace. I've actually got a bit of audio. Yep. So um, I wanted to start out with a little bit of classic penis humor. I looked up some other people screwing up at work. More specifically, news readers. Yes. So I'll play a bit of clips for you. Yeah. This is an event that I always enjoy. King of the Kubasa. Okay. It's it's a, a sausage competition that I judge. Oh, in, <laughs> like sausage eating? Yeah. Oh, yay. yeah. <laughs> and uh, you can get uh, tickets online at Pick a Dick. Pick. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're thinking about sausage. So. <laughs> Pick a Dick. Oh my goodness. That was a really good event. <laughs> it is. King of the Kubasa. So the second one um, was a case of a news anchor going full Ron Burgundy and reading whatever was on the teleprompter. I'm sure the whoever wrote this got promptly fired. Tom, get off pickadick.com. I want to see if it's a site. <laughs> TV has just learned the names of the four pilots who were on board the flight. They are Captain Sum Ting Wong, <laughs> Wee Too Low, Ho Li Fook, and Bang Ding Ao. And the NTSB has confirmed these are the names of the pilots on the oh. flight 214 when it crashed. That cannot be real. That oh. is- I remember that happening. But you can imagine the boys doing it as a joke for each other in the like newsroom. Yeah. And they're all like cracking up, but then they fucking put the wrong slide through. Yeah. Remember remember when um uh the chaser did it at the airport and they they registered their names for a domestic flight as Al Qaeda and Terry Wrist. So (laughs) they they were late for their flight and then people over the the, that were announcing. They called it. Um Attention passengers, Al-Qaeda and Terry Wrist, uh, you oh, are late for your flight. So At what amazing. point did the announcer just go, oh, shit. <laughs> I, like, as we all did, worked in television. Well, me and Ken did. You guys work in radio. <laughs> Not all of us. Uh, I, yeah. I worked in TV yeah. too. Yeah. yeah, she had her own show. Yeah. I had a mate and he used to write the little blurbs about, in the TV guide yes, kind of. The yeah, right. yeah, the EPG. Yeah, the EPG. And it was one of his mate's birthdays, so he wrote, it was like the plot of Home and Away or something, and he's like, it's Paul's birthday today. <laughs> <laughs> like, wrote it into the plot. I was That's, like, That's brilliant. Amazing. That's so good. I've got one little uh, more clip for you guys, and this is a, a sports reporter doing what I call 
just a full Kenny. So just fully Kennying out. <laughs> and I think you can guess what's happening next. With highlights and backstage coverage, we're seeing for the very first time. Sari. Well, a very, very heavy, uh, heavy divertation tonight. We had a very Daris, Darison bite. Let's go oh. ahead and tear us for the bit. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, she's actually having a stroke yeah. on air. No, <laughs> she's okay. talking about the rotation. Rotation, heavy rotation. <laughs> <laughs> she went full Kenny. She did go full Kenny, but so, she actually has a medical disease to describe oh, why really? she was doing that. Yeah, she had, she had a seizure, didn't she, Lana? Yeah, she did. Yeah, because yeah. uh, I've watched I've watched that video like a few a times hemorrhage. before, and it's you see you see it in her eyes as well. She gets a little bit <laughs> <laughs> all glazed <laughs> over. And shit. Does she faint at the end of that as well, or no. am I imagining You're thinking that of one? every other fainting video? No, no, oh, well. So I wanted to talk to all you guys. Uh, what is something you've screwed up at work? Uh, uh, well, I used to work at Domino's Pizza. Uh, Greatest food chain in Australia. That's what they're <laughs> no, I didn't know they were the, Russian. No. They were Russian. They started in Russia. Um, yeah, in, in Berlin, which is in Germany. Germany. Which yeah. is weird. Yeah. Uh, they're I know Russian. who's getting a map for them. They're birthday. Russian, but they started in Berlin. It's weird. I don't okay, know. It's I'm actually uh, none of it's true. But what I did <laughs> what? was one night we got a call. Uh, we used to close up at about 1.30 each night, and we got a call at about 1.20. And we always had to make that pizza. Like and you'd just be like, "Fuck, this has delayed my closing time by another half an hour." Kind of thing. That's the worst. We get the call, and someone calls up and goes, "Hello, <laughs> can I please order one large pizza with triple chili flakes, double jalapeno, like chili oil, um, like the hottest Ooh. thing, like hot uh, pepperoni, salami. Yeah. So the hottest pizza you could possibly imagine." And we were both like, me and the other guy that were in there were like, mm, this sounds very fake. Like, no one could possibly <laughs> eat this. But we got to make it. You know, we're obligated to. And we make the pizza. I drive to deliver it. I get to uh, to the address and it's a vacant block of land. <laughs> <laughs> not, not a great start. No. no. So I was about 10 minutes drive and I got there and I was like, fuck, we got got. Drive back to, to the um, pizza store, but... We did, uh, to make up for my mistake of driving it to the wrong place or to, to nowhere, a mate of mine come up from the pub straight after, yeah. knocking on the door. Do you have any pizza left? <laughs> yeah. And I went, I actually do have a pizza left. <laughs> Would you That's like good. it? And he said, yes. I took it out, and, like slid it out the door, locked the door, and then he started eating it. And I could no. see him profusely sweating, no. yes. banging on the glass door, being like, give me some drinks. Yes. <laughs> and That's I'm like holding on Fanta bottles, being like, hey, you want some of this, buddy? Yeah, so, so, I mean, I, we fucked up by taking the call in the first place, but, you know, we got a bit of revenge on someone who didn't deserve it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Isn't yeah. that the best kind of revenge? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Love it. Best served cold. Oh, well, this was hot. So I was working a job as a photographer. Oh yeah, specifically Santa photography. What did you take photos of? Which which sounds very (laughs) pedoey now. (laughs) Very pedoey. What? Why? But went through the police checks. All good, guys. Oh, all good. Um. Anyway. I, I was the area supervisor, so I hired some of my mates because we were all at uni. Yeah, it's, I remember that. Yeah, so I hired yeah. um, my mate James, and um, I, I was teaching him the things you say to get, get people to smile for photos, and you say stupid shit like um, cheeky monkeys and... Brotation. Sen- Brotation. <laughs> heavy brotation. Heavy, heavy brotation. And everyone just starts laughing. And, and um, Santa's smelly socks. And um, I didn't screw up, but old James was kind of caught up in the moment, a bit busy, Trying to get a kid to smile, he accidentally said Santa's smelly sack. <laughs> <laughs> to which Santa and the parent were a little bit shocked. <laughs> the kid was just confused. Oh, that's good. The kid was agreeing. Like, yeah. Mm, oh, yeah, yeah, that that stinks. Stinks. yeah, his sack yeah. stinks. <laughs> He's got that ball sweat going on just in the day under the lights. Yeah. We yeah, all know it. it. No. Except for except for Steve from Pennsylvania, he probably only gets half the amount of balls. <laughs> <right now. laughs> oh, oh yeah. no! Well, mine is because um, I live so far away from work. I, I don't want to wear heels for twelve hours straight. So most of the time, I'll get up in the morning, I'll chuck my UGG boots on, and nice. then I'll, I'll so um, shy of you. I know, and then I'll drive into it because I'm driving in at five thirty, so it's very yep. cold, which is why I've got is my. Is that UGG how boots early on. you go to work? Yeah, you know, I just love this place. I just want to be be at work all the time. How many babies do you deliver at work? <laughs> She's dressed in a nurse's She's dressed outfit. In a nurse <laughs> I'm wearing a white dress 
And, and heels. I and didn't heels. know it was Naughty Nurses themed at work yeah. today. Dirty doctor. Actually, Kenny looks a bit like a dirty doctor. He does. Oh, yeah. Is it just because I'm <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no. Anyway, back to my story. So I, I, I would often carry my shoes in my handbag. So when I get to work, I put my shoes on. This one day, I was very tired. I was very late and I forgot to pack my real shoes and I just ended up having the Ugg boots oh. at work. All day at work. All day at work. Oh. You know what? It really fits the brief though. Like you look like someone who would wear Ugg boots to work. No, I am not. There's <laughs> yeah. nothing more derelict than Ugg boots at work. Uh, Suits her. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Fuck you. The Roundabout Crew. So for those of you that don't know, we're about uh, 10 minutes into the podcast and this is the Roundabout Crew podcast. I just thought oh, I'd mention at the top of... Who's yeah. in the Roundabout Crew? There's Tom. Yeah. Uh, Armstrong. There's Elliot. And there's Ken. Yeah. You're not. Huh. You guys don't like, have You are part of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> you are part of the podcast. And Thank you have you. done a few videos with us. Yeah. We've actually got a video coming up soon where um, it's all about uh, nurses. So oh, if yeah. you could just wear that <laughs> exact same dress again, <laughs> that would be great. Shut up. Now, I've got, I've got a bit of sad news, guys, that... Um, in the past week, there was a, a a cruise ship up in Alaska where someone had passed away on the ship. Now, there's not, there's no information on on what happened to them as yet. But mm. on that ship, there's 3,400 people and 1,100 crew, so it's a pretty big ship. Whoa! Yeah. How's that's that ratio huge. though? That's a lot of crew. Hey, to passengers. Yeah, Ooh. that is crazy. But they've got to have dancers and bingo players and dancers. stuff. That's right. No, you're yeah. right. No, you're exactly right. Yeah. Have you been on a cruise? I've been on lots of cruises. Okay. In your boots. Well, the ship is a Sydney... <laughs> is a Sydney <laughs> doesn't even make sense. In your nurse outfit. <laughs> it's a Sydney-based liner. It's operated by Princess Cruises and a part of Carnival Australia. Now, Carnival Cruise have been around for a few years now. They kind of launched in Australia around 2012. Mm. So, me and my friends wanted to have a five-year schoolies reunion, right? Yeah. Or just a, As you do. A, an excuse yeah. to get away with all the boys. And we were like, let's do something rogue. Let's not go to Bali or Thailand or somewhere cool. Let's do the lamest thing we possibly can. You know, we're all boys. Like, we'll have fun. Doesn't matter what we do. <laughs> so we booked an 11 night cruise to Vanuatu and New Caledonia. Yes. Big mistake. Why? Because it was a fucking fun sponge. I think one of my mates got in there straight away and said, this is the tackiest piece of shit I've ever seen. <laughs> wow. We yeah, are the, like the youngest people by average age 20. Well, I reckon we were the average age though, Ken, but only because everyone was either a hundred or three. <laughs> so it was like we were somewhere in between. But this is this is the ad that they've got. It's time you took your notion of a holiday and kicked it up a notch or two. Yeah, what if you good. rocked your way to Fiji, swam your way to New Caledonia, mm -hmm. explored the islands from new perspectives, took your taste buds around the world, Ooh. and what if you could relax knowing that it's all included? There are so many ways to kick up your holiday on Carnival Spirit. Don't worry if you don't get to them all. There's always tomorrow. Carnival Cruise Lines, now sailing from Sydney. Ooh. Oh my God! Can we go so, on a cruise? Guys? I know it sounds it's quite exciting. Good. Hey, yeah. that's some yeah. great, some great advertising. Like I, when we read up on it, and we got like a well, one of our mate's sisters was a travel agent. She she ripped us off, but you know we still Ooh, thought rookie. we were getting a bargain. Yeah. Got that insurance um, and all that stuff. That yeah, got you up insurance. With. I forgot yeah. my passport, so oh, my dad no. had to bring it up to Sydney. Yeah, from mm. from quite a while away. But anyway, we were so excited to get on. Yeah, within the first. I would say two hours. We got in a fight. <laughs> what happened? Uh, just the only other people that were our age on the ship. You do have a punchable face. Yeah, yeah, no, no. It was my mate Daniel who has an even more punchable uh, face. He had curled moustache and yep. sideburns. Get so he'd, he'd basically worn a stupid facial hair get up. <laughs> To, to get and punched. the good thing about a cruise, is especially getting in a beef with someone on the first day, you're never going to see him oh, again. Oh, you never see him again. It's, it's so big. Very spread out. <laughs> exactly. We got a 48-hour booze ban. Oh, <laughs> no. 48 hours is a and long time. 48 hours, also considering that that's the 48 hours it takes to get to the island. That's so all you so can do is sit on the, oh, on the fucking ship. Did you buy, because um, you can buy bottles of alcohol, like duty-free. Yeah, but not when you're on the ship. That's it. Like you like I, in the I, at the terminal, isn't there an actual shop? I've been on a few cruises. Yeah, but I think you can drink it then and there. Oh, unless we're too stupid and you you're some type of booze hound and you've figured out mm. like Rex Barron, you just figured out how to get past. <laughs> I'll the get you beer, yeah. Barron. <laughs> but I wanted to I wanted to give these guys a, a real commercial that would you know be real oh, for the people nice. so yeah. they know what to expect. So I downloaded some beautiful happy music. Maybe it's time you took your notion of a holiday and made it ten times shitter than it should be. 
What if you slept in a four metre square room with three other smelly men? Missed out on a day in New Caledonia because of the weather and had another fun day on the fun ship? Had the main pool of the ship closed for half the time due to maintenance? <laughs> Were surrounded by either screaming children or decrepit old people the entire time? <laughs> and what if you could relax knowing it's all included? Except for the $12 beers and the good version. <laughs> there are so many ways to not enjoy your holiday on Carnival Spirit. And don't worry, if you don't get to do them all, you'll be stuck on the ship for another 10 days. <laughs> yeah. Carnival Cruise Lines, now trapping people on the fun sponge in Sydney. <laughs> So that's, Brutal. I like that's it. my version of the ad. Look, you can only really judge something on, on when you've experienced it. Is so. Carnival like one of the cheaper ones? Are there better ones? Because I, I thought maybe one day I'd go on a cruise, but you're not, you're it's not worth a great having... salesman. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm, it's working then. I'm sell, t- selling you not to go oh, on that. That makes Maybe I am sense. a great salesman. Oh, the old reverse psychology. Reverse, reverse style salesman. I think oh. I think when you go on cruises. So I went on a I went on a cruise for a hens last year and it wasn't too bad. I had a fun. It was only a four day cruise and I was with a whole bunch of girls. So we just Did got you all really rude loose. heaps of old people? No, yeah, it sounds no, like it. All the, we just kind of hung out with each other. We didn't really care for anything else. Some decrepit dick. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. No, but um, I think the thing that you have to do is you have to get the room with the view yeah. and the window because you right. otherwise you're just stuck inside. So and in you're my like, ad, like I said, yeah. I literally like a four metre square room with f- two bunk beds and there was like a small gap in between like the size of Ken's dick. Yeah, it was a window? No window. No window. Oh, boy. It was yeah, literally no. on the inside of the ship and the toilet was tiny as well. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was like, bad. I felt like I was, you know, in, in, the, in the cabin or, or in the, on the Black Pearl okay. under Captain Jack. <laughs> under him. <laughs> Under him. <laughs> Under him. He would have loved it then. <laughs> yeah, it was great. It He's reminds me of this one time. Um, I had a girlfriend long distance. So she was yep. coming from Europe. And I was like, we went to the coast and I was like, let's do a whale watching trip. Oh, you right. Know? Like go out on a fun. cruise, really romantic, see some whales. Yep. Anyway, we get out in the ocean. It's pretty nice. We're like, this is cool. The water gets a bit choppy. And we're starting to realize, oh, that's very choppy. She starts getting a little bit seasick. I'm like, oh, I'm all right. I'm doing fine. <laughs> then we realize there's a group of disabled people on the ship. Yep. Like a whole crew of disabled people and their carers. Choppy water. They just start vomiting on themselves. No. Like, oh, and, no. And they've got special needs and the water was super choppy. So they can't control it. And they're like spewing literally on each other and on themselves. <laughs> and you can smell that. a roundabout crew video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the so you can, smell, you can smell the spew. It's also extremely choppy. Yep. Didn't even see a whale. No. Yeah, yeah so that, that wasn't ideal. That's disappointing, mm. mate. So we're not born for the you water. You should go to SeaWorld. You can s- guaranteed to see killer whales there. Yeah. And maybe yeah. they might even kill their trainer. But they're a bit depressed, aren't they? They're very depressed. Like, Have you me... seen Blackfish? Yeah. Yeah, mm. yeah. sad. Yeah, Ken? Yeah, a bit yeah. Depressed, yeah. Or, yeah. depressed or frowny. It's like, cheer up, mate. Yeah, I know. <laughs> put your fin up, you sad. Go guy. on a cruise. Yeah. Have a good time. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> you put a killer whale. Let's, let's solve the problem and put Shamu on Carnival Cruise Lines. There you go. Boom. Done. Problem solvers. Bernsey, do you have any times that you absolutely hated? Oh, I hate lots of times. Mainly, <laughs> mainly when I'm here mainly with nine you guys. O'clock. Oh, nine o'clock, ten o'clock, eleven o'clock. They're all the times I hate. No, five thirty in your ad boots. 5:30 yeah, five thirty a.m. Peak hour in the maternity ward. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I can think of a time I hated um, as a kid, growing up in a country town. There was not a lot to do, but then one day we got word. That the Lennon Brothers Circus was coming to town. So yes. I was over the moon because I love animals. And I was like, yes, I get to see some elephants, tigers, etc. Dogs. Dogs. They were all, they were <laughs> all coming as part of the, the circus. Uh, so I get there, see all the animals. But what I didn't know at the time was I was completely petrified of clowns. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Lucky they don't appear at the circus. Yeah, well... So I was sitting pretty close to the front and the clown comes up to me, starts doing some, his thing and I was freaking the hell out. I've never been more uncomfortable for an hour in my life. I'm just there sitting there to go, Dad, can we leave? Can we leave? Really? That bad? How old were you? Like 18, 19? Yeah, it was, oh, <laughs> yeah, at least 19. Well, but, how are you when that big clown like phase came through recently? Oh, that's terrible. No, oh, yeah. yeah, I got over it pretty quickly. Yeah. Um, what so I'm only really scared of magpies now. Yeah, I was going to say, what would be worse for you, having to sit through um, clowns or sit underneath what a tree in magpie Yeah, yeah I, th- I know where you're going with this one, Elliot. Uh, magpie. 
I had a clown face. Clown nag pie? Oh. I'd, yeah. I'd, a clag pie. A clag pie. <laughs> <laughs> Get that shit away from me. The roundabout crew. So, I've been watching a lot of TV and movies lately, and what? there's a lot of good... Yes, that's That's different. not like me. Yeah, no, it's really not like not. me. I've really changed. Usually, you're out in the footy field having a kick. <laughs> Normally, I'm out socialising, walking through the community. Yep. Charity work? Cha- you do a lot of charity yeah. work. Tom donates yeah. a lot of his time to watching TVs and movies and, and donating money to... To Netflix. Children. Yeah, Netflix. Not children. <laughs> oh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Far Yuck. out. As a nurse, I thought you'd have a higher moral compass. Yeah, there's one compass? thing he donates to children and it's not money. <laughs> <laughs> he did a uh, World Vision sponsor a child. He thought it was lay-by payments. <laughs> <laughs> I want it now. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean 30 days? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So there's heaps of good shit coming out. So... The Disaster Artist. Have you seen yeah, the trailer yeah. for that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, the Room. Wait. Yeah, that's going to be the Room. I haven't seen, uh, the Room. Yeah. So the Room no. is a cult, a cult, a cult classic, and it's basically known as the worst film that was ever made. Yeah, it's this guy called Tommy Wiseau, and Wiseau. he basically Wizo, Wizo, Wizo. Yeah, yeah. Wizo. It doesn't matter. I don't Whatever. Know. Um. Anyway, he he kind of self funded this movie. Is this weird? Where's he from? He's got a really weird. He'd be accent. Eastern European or something. Yeah, and he's got this really strange accent, and he basically just self-funded this movie he wrote and it's the worst thing ever. So and it's supposed to be a drama and it's turned out to be a cult comedy. Put it that way. It's just yeah, yeah, so yeah. funny because so it's, it's like, bad. Yeah, yeah, the acting's terrible, the plot's terrible, the writing's terrible. They oh, replace characters it. halfway through the movie and don't explain it. <laughs> it's, really? It's, it's, like, supposed to be it's, serious. it's like brilliantly bad. All right, I'm going to so, have to see it. So basically James Franco yes. has recreated this as like a movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. So like Seth Rogen's in it. I've seen some it. photos. Yeah so, yeah, so that's coming out soon. So that's exciting. So what's and that one called again? The Disaster Artist, but the original movie's called The Room. Room. Okay. Watch both. Watch yeah. both. And you guys have been watching Game of Thrones. That's your jam? Yes. Absolutely. Hell oh, yeah. And Love recently me. some big trailers have come out, like uh, Stranger Things Season 2. Oh, yeah. Excited for that. I watched Season mm. 1. It was good, eh? Yeah, it was Yeah, really you would have loved it. What about um, Westworld? Did you watch that? No, only Eastworld. I yeah. start... <laughs> <laughs> Southworld for me, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Westside. Yeah. yeah, no, Westworld was sick. You should watch that. Season 1 and yep. Season 2 is coming out. What's that about? Um, It's like... It's kind of like The Sims in real life. Is the way I'd describe it. Wow. So like, I used to love The Sims, Kenny, <laughs> didn't I? <laughs> One day I went on Elliot's computer um, and I opened up. I saw <laughs> oh, he had no. Sims on there. So he had two saved characters. One was called uh, Black Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> and the other one was Elliot Casanova, where he had like, oh, no. where he had like four girlfriends. Oh, jeez. <laughs> what is that? That should be the focus of the segment. <laughs> Mate, it could have been so much worse. What was your black guy doing? Uh, the same thing Elliot Casanova was doing, rooting as many <laughs> married women. They as both possible. had oh nice houses God. though and full time jobs, so like <laughs> he was. They were doing well for They're themselves. Respectable like, guys. Oh, they amazing. never met each other though, which is unfortunate. So anyway, Westworld's like rich people have this world you can go visit, which is like a theme park, but it's like a real like a western like. Western is in cowboys and Indian yeah, style yeah, yeah. world. Yeah. So you go and you can live in this world and there's all robots that look like and act like humans. Yeah. And, isn't and you it kind of you can do go role there to, to, ki- to kill the, Yeah. So you them? can go there and kind of hunt and be in the wild west and kill people and be a bandit and you can do whatever wow. you want. Wow. Oh, no. Yeah. Here's this setting. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. The future. future. Yeah. yeah. I started watching. I watched a couple of episodes. It takes I... a little bit to get into. Yeah. At first, I thought it was a little bit tacky, but it's actually good. Alana, you're more into like ER and Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> 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 yes, RP- RPA. I prefer the real life ones. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Dr. Harry Cooper. Um, He's a vet. And then there's also, did you see that there's going to be a new Matt Groening show? Oh, oh yeah, really? yeah, yeah. It's called Disenchantment. It's a show about a drunk princess. And it's got... um Eric Andre. Eric Andre is one of the you characters. You love Eric Andre. Well, I love. He's yeah. fucking funny. And Abby Jacobson. She's from Broad City. Have you, you seen that? No. Yeah, well, Do she's you think funny that'll too. take the kind of vein of Rick and Morty? Obviously, they've kind of paved the way yeah. for weird cartoons. Like, yeah, Adult Swim. I guess Adult Swim cartoons have been around for a while. Like yeah, the I think they're zany. usually more adult than Matt Groening. Yeah. Groening? Groening? Gro- gro- groening. I think yeah. it's Groening. Who cares? And no one knows how to pronounce on this show. <laughs> And a show I've been watching, like binge watching the last few days, is called The Handmaid's Tale. Oh, you know I watched that. I ha- I I watched that in one day. Really? I watched ten hours straight and watched the Whoa, whole season. Oh, that's impressive! You must don't like don't that give one. anything away. But I'm it's very good very at good, isn't it? It's very very yeah. good. So yeah. I'll show you the trailer now. 
and it'll give you an idea of what it's about. Sure. I was asleep before. That's how we let it happen. When they slaughtered Congress, we didn't wake up. When they blamed terrorists and suspended the Constitution, we didn't wake up then either. Now I'm awake. My name is Alfred. I had another name. Ladies, I have to let you go. It's the law now. They needed to do it this way. All the bank accounts and the jobs all at the same time. You imagine the airports otherwise? Run, run, run! Run, You girls will serve the leaders and their barren wives. So basically it's this show wow. where it's kind of like if the kind of Trump Heavy, kind of mm. world kept going and women just lose their rights and go backwards and women, their purpose is to like wife children. Uh, really? Grow children and that's it. Right, Frenchie really, French will be tuning really into that one for sure. <laughs> it's really distressing. It's, 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 it's a, like insane. So yeah. I, love, I love how trailers, they start out with a single um, like, Runaway Kanye West yeah. note Ding. on a yeah, piano. Yeah. It's so eerie. Then it gets into the classical music. Then it goes back again to the single note piano. And like, it's Beautiful a very stuff. serious drama, right? Mm. And so, of course, someone had to parody the whole show. No. And oh, nice. It is fucking it's funny. you. So, <laughs> I wish it was me. <laughs> I was asleep before. When they didn't date us because of feminism, we didn't wake up. They ruined Ghostbusters, and we didn't wake up then either. And when they were being shrill bitches 24-7, we didn't wake up. And now, we are hand men. The feminazis own us. Like, more or less. My name is Manfred. I had another name. It was Fred. Before the war, I was a senior VP. Now I'm a senior VP with some female colleagues. No, hey! All I said was she looks like she can take a dick! That's a we can no longer speak freely. Praise be, that was a beautiful film. Uh. Blessed be the strong female protagonist. Men used to be respected. I mean, we can still get wasted and eat tacos. But call feminism an ugly girl thing, and it's jail for you. <laughs> so it's basically this big parody that's just ridiculous. And in the show, they wear these kind of red capes and these white hats, and they're very like very old school styles like yeah. all covered up like, like and in this pa- yeah in this parody yeah. it's funny or die all the dudes are wearing the same thing and it's so good is it has it received any negative backlash from no, the I feminazis think, or i think it's very feminism? self-aware like it's right. not it's not saying this stuff without realizing it's being a dick yeah it's like okay. taking the piss out of those dudes rather yeah. than you know yeah but yeah. yeah the show's really good are there any shows you guys have been watching uh, I just watched actually yesterday. So I had a, I had a really, no Tuesday, I had a really big weekend and, um, my girlfriend and I were like, right, let's just watch a few movies to try to like yeah. calm ourselves down after, you know, a few nights of drinking and you're a bit scat after a few nights of drinking as well. Absolutely. And the first movie we watch is Vanilla Sky. Oh my oh, no. God. Holy that's fuck. A, that's like a mind fuck. <laughs> oh my God. That's like I this... hate Tom Cruise for one. Yeah. Two. I wanted to watch like Day After Tomorrow or something like that, so I didn't have to think. That's and way just, too God. deep. Oh man, isn't it it's real deep? I can't remember it deep. that well. Yeah, I won't. I won't ruin it for anyone, but it's fucked up. I'd watch it in a, in a normal frame of mind. Did you and like then, it? Yeah, I didn't mind it. I didn't mind it. And then after that, we watched A Beautiful Mind, which is also about schizophrenia. And uh, why so, did you choose these movies? <laughs> you gotta put on like something real dumb, like. Yeah. A new Adam Sandler film where it's very Grown simple. Ups too. Yeah, that <laughs> would have been put, a great choice. You would have been asleep like that. I know. Yeah, I should have put Grown Ups too on. But as far as TV shows, probably just Rick and Morty. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, good. Kind of rolling yeah. through that. You watched all that in a sesh, didn't you? Ken? Yeah, and the new season the... starts pretty soon, like thirtieth of July. Yeah, I feel like, like there's a couple so of days much away. coming out. Yeah, I know. It's good. Um, what about in Pornhub? Anything good coming out lately? It's Anything? There's a category called for women, which is good. <laughs> What's Four that? women? That's yeah. a lot. No. <laughs> <laughs> He's done it. The Roundabout Crew. So, Elliot, you were talking before about how... Oh, wow, what was that, Tom? That was me copying <laughs> your, your big air breath before you start. <laughs> yeah, you do this weird thing. It's I'm like, sorry. <sighs> I'm just trying to get my it's breath. It's like a face queef. You sound like, <laughs> a, you sound like a hoover. That's a vacuum cleaner. Oh. Does anyone actually hear that in the podcast? Well, though? I, I, I usually like edit it out. Oh, Not well, this maybe time. you should Not leave, this it time. leave it in. Leave it in. Got your breath? Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> no, 
No, you were talking before about cruises and how you hated them. Yeah, I'm feeling like I need a holiday at the moment. Right. Mm. So, what are Don't your thoughts? Oh, what are your thoughts on the Gold Coast guys? On the Gold Coast guys Ooh. or the Gold Coast comma guys? The Gold guys. Coast comma guys. Oh, I love the Gold Coast. Yeah, what do you love about the Gold Coast? Viva la Gold Coast. Uh, you know what? I actually really like the like Redcliffe and um, areas like that. Burley, Burley Beach. I don't remember like, that. No, well. I don't think I got Redcliffe right. I meant Burley. Burley Beach and uh, Broadwater and, and uh, Broad Beach. I'm just making up <laughs> you these are <laughs> yeah. You're making up stuff. I'm just twisting Because I haven't been to the Goldie since I was like fresh 18 and... It was oh, like a big party would have run a mark. Yeah, it was party town then, but I, I can imagine yeah. it being pretty trashy going there as like, you know, someone who has a bit of sense. I yeah. feel like as someone with a job though, you should be able to get somewhere nice and pretty Yeah, that's true. Pretty oh, right. Yeah, like oh. top of the Q one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, right now, on a scale of one to ten, how bad do, would you want to go to the Gold Coast? I'd consider the Gold Coast. What would you give I it? I think you've got better options <laughs> in Australia. For a scale of I want one a, to I 10, want a bitch. scale. Give me a number. <laughs> Do I want to go in Queensland or is this like a holiday? It's in a general? simple question, <laughs> it's Tom. It's a very simple question. <laughs> not really. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> I'm not into it. Ask Elliot. Elliot? Uh, so do I want to go in Queensland? Or, uh, <laughs> like, is it instead of work? Like... All right. I'll say seven. <laughs> <laughs> seven what, what though, Elliot? <laughs> <laughs> and like, who are you flying with? There's so yeah, many that's questions. A good question. Yeah, very good point. Well, I've got Channel something... Seven, because they call it Prime over there. There's they a lot do. Of they do. Well, I've got something that is in the Gold Coast, which I was reading in the newspaper the other day. That's a lie. I don't read the newspaper. I was <laughs> scrolling on Facebook. Um, so basically, Frank Bailey owns a gelati joint up on the Gold Coast. And I think this might make you guys want to go there. And he's invented VB flavoured gelato. Oh, oh, I did see yeah. that actually. Mm. Now you're talking. Wow. Yes. And so as soon as I saw it, I thought of you guys because, you know, I basically a VB kings. Yeah. Well, I mean, we love our VB. Uh, that's no secret. I do like but just regular ice cream. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> I mean, I love my VB, but I, I drink my VB in a certain situation and reason. And when I eat gelato, it's the same kind of thing. Mm. Like, I want something sweet. You wouldn't give it a try? I'd, I'd give it a, 100% give I'd it a give try. It a what, you call me crazy? So basically what, what uh, Frank, old mate Frank, who designed it was, anything with alcohol is good, isn't it? I'm like, well, Correct. Of course wow. it is. Uh, he sounds like a genius. Yeah, I'm so, on Frank. <laughs> imagine a few, smashing a few gelatis at the footy. Yeah, oh, that's, that's, that's a good time. Good combination. Well, he started trialling some different ones after that. So he's done Johnny Walker Black gelato. Right, oh, nice. Fancy. Is there anything that you can think of? Any alcohols that you'd love to see? Oh, tequila. Kraken. Yeah, I'd have a margarita gelato. Dark like a bit of lemon, rum. you know, a bit of mm. bit of kick to it. Definitely dark spice rum and ginger with this hint of lime. Oh! <laughs> Plenty of ice. <laughs> nice. Wow, I don't know, I like, like a Bailey's, something obvious. A Bailey's, that's a yeah. good one. Yeah. You could go a fruity sangria. Ooh. Oh, Ken. Yeah, I had sangria at You're lunch today. You're a sangria. <laughs> oh, thank you, guys. Thank I feel you. like if you made a sangria and instead of putting like your juices or whatever you put in it, you just put a few scoops of gelato, that'd be pretty good. That's a five-star idea, Tom. It is a five-star idea. Nah, I just wanted to segue to five-star <laughs> reviews. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mumble number five. Star review. And of course, it's time for Mumbo Five Star Reviews. For your chance to be on Mumbo Five Star Views, <laughs> views <laughs> Reviews, <laughs> look up the podcast on the iTunes store, look up the Random Crew podcast, and leave us a five star review, and I will read it out. What about Mumbo Five Star Views, like from the top of the Q1 or from the top of Center Point Tower? They that is are a five star views. They are five star <laughs> views. Tell us about your five star views as well, yeah, if you want. Change it. Actually, yeah, please do. T uh, write in and leave a five star review. Tell us about your five star view. <laughs> Um, we've got four in this week, and the first one is from Darcy Burke, and it's titled Get Around Boys. Boys spelled correctly, B-O-I-Z. Nice. Yeah, nice. Um, I'm going to actually not read the entirety of this review, because what uh, Darcy has done has given us a classic, a uh, 12th Man Marvelous. Oh, he's the whole the the, lyrics to the whole thing. The whole song. Um, so I'll read you a little excerpt, if you will, uh, sure. to give Darcy a bit of credit. I have no idea what you guys are talking so about. So 12th Man basically became famous for... Uh, Mimicking Richie Benno. Mimicking uh, in, in, into... What's the word? That starts Interracial with racial porn. <laughs> that, uh, that, the word that starts with I when you... Imitate. Do, imitate. No, it's not imitate. Impression. 
Doing an impression. <laughs> that took me ages. That did take Doing me an impression a very long time. of uh, yeah, Richie Benno and, and Tony Gregg and all those guys. So the cricket commentators. He's still yeah. looking blank. Like, and, who are these yeah. people? I like how you're going to brush past that like it's common knowledge. What? It the is 12 pretty common knowledge. It is. Is it? Yeah. It's pretty nah, common knowledge. No like that. they became like a big uh, Australian comedy group, mainly sports based. So I see where you're, mm. you're missing out there. Pretty popular. Nah, if, if Tom doesn't know it, nah. No one knows no one it. Knows no one knows it. That's the thing. That's it. Yep. It's all over Red Rover. <laughs> well, look, sorry, Darcy. Sorry, yeah, Darcy. Yeah, tough sorry, break. Um, but I enjoyed 12 Man Marvelous, so... Uh, yep, read an expert, Ken. Yes, welcome back to here to the MCG or the Gabber <laughs> or the Wacker or that... I'm going to stop. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Darcy Burke. Um, makes sense at the time. <laughs> all right, the next one is from Ablerit, uh, and this one's titled Kenny but spelt uh, like the pasta penne, so maybe Kenne. <laughs> <laughs> That's heaps better. Yeah. I like that. Kenne. I love Kenne. you, Kenne. <laughs> um, and I'm not going to read the entirety of this review either because wow. what uh, Ablerit has done has just written Kenny, 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 <laughs> Kenny, 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 many times. Or has he written Kenne, Kenne, Kenne? No, Kenne. these ones are Kenny. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. But thank you for your great review. Uh, How many times do you reckon? Guestimate. Uh, at least 55. <laughs> Nice. Oh, very well accurate. done, Kenny. Um, the next review is from A113 Illuminati Disney. <laughs> and this one's titled <laughs> Ken's Big Mac Special Sauce. And starts with, hey, boys. Boys spoke correctly. B-O-I. Many eyes and Z. Uh, Has Tom ever been so drunk that he mistook little Vindaloo for a child and licked <laughs> oh. his disco stick? <laughs> uh, yes. By yes, the way, I have. Uh, by the way, Elliot, the panties you want are on the way. Oi! They better be used. I don't like fresh panties. Hashtag oh, little Vindaloo. God. Hashtag Tom's a pedo. Hashtag Elliot is a panty sniffer. He sure is. And Thanks, one, Tom. <laughs> one last review from Hawksboy29. Uh, this one's titled YTP. Yeah, the podcast. Oh! oh Hawksboy. Uh, like that, Hawksboy. Uh, g'day, boys and girl. Both spelled correctly. B-O-I-Z and G-U-R-L. Uh, girl. Hawksboy is from W A. Loving the potty, especially the what? longer format. Uh, Did do you get the internet there? Nah, <laughs> just kidding. Also, I just just, oh. just yanking your chain. Oh well, uh, <laughs> just pulling your disco stick, mate. Don't worry about it. Uh, Hawksboy goes on to say, "Do you reckon you could give us your opinion and impression of Western Australians' uh, best state in the country?" Hashtag Elliot Done. Panty Sniffer, oh. Tom's uh, Bill Cosby, <laughs> Kenny's a legend, and Alana's an angel. Aww, oh, thanks. An angel. A Bill Cosby, oh. thank you. An angel. <laughs> an angel with dirty wings. That's what my grandma used oh to say my about God. my mom. So brother. what's your thoughts on uh, <laughs> WA, guys and girls? Uh, I would say, you know, Perth is the most isolated city in Australia. Really? Although, H does go from there. Our good, yep. friend, our good friend Pete, who used to be a part of the Roundabout crew. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I'm... I've never been, have you? I've never been. I've been. I've been to Broome. I, Let's just I, I say used to it live, swept me off my feet. I used to live in Broome. <laughs> I lived in Broome Did you get swept years. off Did your you? feet? Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> There's the joke. There's the joke. <laughs> oh, I love that joke. Well, this has been the Roundabout Crew podcast. Uh, unless you have a WA expression, Alana. I'm, I'm from Perth. Impression. I fucking love mining and that. Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Oh! <laughs> Perfect. The perfect impression. That was perfect, bro. <laughs> well, this has been the Roundabout Crew podcast. Uh, you've been joined by Tom, Elliot, Ken, and Alana. As always, the awesome foursome. Oh, God. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean that. Isn't that a category in porn up? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Four women. I can't wait to get home and search that. <laughs> and we will speak to you next week. But wait, of course I end uh, the podcast with a little clip I found off the internet. Awkward now because what I've prepared is a bit of 12th man. Uh, Tom, <laughs> Tom, block your ears. Everyone else, enjoy. This is a recent one uh, where you got Billy Birmingham to do a pressure off Rabs, of famous rugby league uh, caller. Tom's only interested in 12th boy. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Line up. <laughs> enjoy. One, two, three. <laughs> Look, there were always going to be quite a few changes to this New Zealand squad in light of recent goings-on with some key players and, of course, a bad run of injuries. But this looks like it'll be the run-on team for the Kiwis, according to my sources. The front rowers feel like a tomato sanger with <laughs> a skinny latte. The hooker will be so light and tangy, the Newcastle debutante. He's replacing wearing a suit of armour, who formerly belonged to the Knights, of course, and... Uh, 
so light and tangy. His nickname apparently is Sorbet. I think that's <laughs> very clever indeed. In the second row, a car find a wiener and try a little lower. And at lock forward, a Tony Winnie bikini. The back line for the Kiwis looks like this. In the halves, Len Timamoa and why won't he return it to me? <laughs> Len Timamoa, of course, the son of Victor Moa, the former Kiwi powerhouse, the machine they used to call him, and what a player he was. Ashley wanted to bang her in a pity he don't even know her, a descent appearing for New Zealand, replacing bent her over and nearly saw a Nunu, who both been suspended earlier this week. The outside backs, can he look any gayer on one wing, ready to partay on the other, and a 50 centimetre wiener slips in at fullback. And a 50 centimetre wiener, his nickname apparently is Dick. So they've certainly got a sense of humour, this Kiwi outfit. A very new look bench for New Zealand this year, of course, given the injuries and suspensions I spoke of earlier. Missing players like fell into the sewer, let him have another pie, will he lose a kilo or two, and so fat he can't do to Harker. Some very big names there, all unavailable for this match. But it's still a pretty strong-looking bench nonetheless. A couple of big boppers like I really want to wee and where's the loo? And then you've got speedsters like We Can Take You Two, You and Who's Army, and Sam Pullum a Wee Wee is back having served out his drug suspension. <laughs> and finally, Simeon Telly gets his chance to star. <laughs> having played so well for the Tigers this year, he's scored plenty of tries, especially running off Nofaluma, Balot, Bam Boom, Tootie Fruity, <laughs> oh, Rudy! So there it is, the New Zealand test team for this 2016 Anzac test. Quite a few rookies and debutants, but you can't write off the number one test team in the world. The Roundabout Crew.